Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. In this session, I'm going to show you how to create a DMGR, which is a deployment manager profile in WebSphere, how to start the deployment manager and how to access the console. Along with that, I'm going to explain you a few more important concepts. Okay, so before I create the DMGR, so the concept of DMGR, I have explained in few of the videos, my earlier videos that I have posted on the channel. Along with that, it is completely, uh, uh, we have covered in detail in the DigiTalk Udemy course. And for the course link we have given in the description of this video, if you would like to go on the details, video course of the Udemy on, on the WebSphere, then you can follow that link, which is given in the description along with the coupon code. Okay, so what exactly is a DMGR? It is a centralized configuration management tool. That means, for example, if we have a multiple application servers, okay, and we would like to have a centralized control of all of the application servers from a single location, Okay, then we use the DMGR for that, which is called the Deployment Manager or Network Deployment Manager. Okay, so for example, if you have a four uh, different application servers, so you can control all four application servers from a single console, okay, uh, with the help of DMGR. And you can do all of the activities simultaneously on all of the app servers from a single location. Like for example, you can start stop the servers from the single, single console, you can do the deployment, you can do the multiple configurations. Okay, and that will get reflected in each and every application server, which is federated with your DMGR. Okay, so a deployment manager profile is created as a first step in the big deployment containing multiple servers and clusters. So that means if you have an enterprise world where there's a requirement of the uh, multiple application servers due to the high uh, user base and for the high availability requirements. So where we use the deployment manager profile. Okay, where we create a deployment manager profile, which get created an admin management console which you can access from the browser and then you can do a lot of operations with respect to a particular uh, uh, with respect to particular leap uh, for multiple app servers from the DMGR console. Okay, this is a centralized configuration management tool. Okay, you can do a lot of uh, activities, for example, deployment, monitoring, management, okay, with respect to all of the application servers from this particular single console. Right, so uh, let me show you how to create that uh, deployment manager profile. So for that, you have to go to the installation location of WebSphere. This is the installation location in, in my case. Okay. And now you have to go to the bin directory. Inside the bin, you will have a folder called profile templates. Let me go to the profile, sorry, profile management. So let me go to profile management. So here we have to initiate the PMT tool, pmt.bat for Windows and pmt.sh for the Linux. Okay, this is a profile management tool which we use to create the different kind of a profiles in your web sphere. Okay, it will take some time to initiate the graphical user interface and then it will list, if you have any profile there currently, then it will list all of the profiles that has been created from this particular installation. Okay, because we can create the multiple profiles from a single installation, right? So it will list all of the current profiles that you have in your system and then you can create your other profiles. So here you can see that the graphical tools has been initiated Right, and these are the multiple profiles that already have in my system, which I have created from this single WebSphere installation. Okay, now to create a DMGR profile, okay, or in fact to create any of the profile, you have to click on the create option. So here you will have a different options. Okay, we have a different kind of a profiles. This we have completely covered in the Digital uh, Academy course in detail. Okay, for each and every profile. Okay, and now in this session we are going to create the DMGR profile so for that it will be we have to select the option management okay because dmgr is a kind of a management profile so select the management and click on next and here we have to select the deployment manager which is by default selected because we are going to create the deployment manager profile okay click on next it will take some time to read the uh, template okay so whenever we create any of the profile it it read a default template which is come along with the installation so if i show you the template so go to the uh, bin folder, not bin, you go to the installation location and here you will have a folder called profile templates. So here we have a different kind of a template that is used when we create the profiles either using the command line with the help of manage profile or with the help of this graphical user interface tool. Right. So now we have two options, typical and advanced. If we go with the typical, then it will automatically select the default values for the complete configurations of your DMGR. For example, the different ports is used by your DMGR, cell name, node name, everything will be taken care of automatically. But if you go with the advanced option, then you will have a choice to provide the name port according to your requirements. Okay. So I'm going with the typical so that it automatically take the different kind of a 
parameters automatically for me. So now we have an option to enable the admin security. So if you are going to enable the admin security, then at multiple places, whenever you go for the configuration, start, stop, at multiple locations, you have to provide the username and password. It will always prompt you for the username and password. If you will not enable this security, then it will not going to prompt you. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and let me uh, provide a username and password for the profile. Okay, select next. So now here you can see that there are multiple default values that has been displayed on the screen. Okay, so these are the default values that is automatically taken care by because we have selected the typical profile creation. Okay, so for example, here you can see that the name of your DMGR is, or profile is taken DMGR02. This is the profile name, right? Similarly, it has automatically taken the cell name, node name, host name, which is based on the host name of this machine. And then it has automatically taken some default ports. Right. So this is the admin console port which we are we are going to use to access the DMGR console. Right. So default port of this admin console is 9060. So first time when you will create a profile, the very the very first profile will be assigned a port of 9060. But subsequently, if you are going to create the multiple profiles from the same same installation, then it will automatically assign the port number for your profile. Okay. So now let me click on create. So it's going to take some time to uh, create the profile. Now you can see that the profile creation is in progress. Okay. So to save the time time of the length of this video, what I'm doing, I'm going to pause the, uh, the video. And once the profile is created, and I will resume again. Okay. So now the profile has been created. Okay. Let us click on finish. Okay. So we have created a DMGR profile. Okay, now you can see that that profile has been created here. So this is the initial screen. We select the launch the first screen, okay, in the previous uh, screen. Okay, so that's why this is launched. So let us click close. So now you can see that a DMJ02 profile has been created, right? So now what we will do, we will uh, go to the DMGR profile. Okay, and then we will start the DMGR and then we will see how we can access the DMGR. Okay, and I will explain you a few other important information as well. So this is the installation location. Okay, so by default, when we uh, create any of the profile, okay, specifically when we use a typical option, which automatically select the uh, the default parameters for you, at that time it creates the profiles inside the profiles folder. So this is the installation location of WebSphere, and inside the installation location of WebSphere, it will create the profile inside the profiles folder. So here you can see that I have multiple profiles that I have created. Okay, and because I have selected the typical option, typical profile installation option. Okay, that's why the profiles are created inside the profiles. So if you would like to install the profile in some different custom location, so you can, during the creation of the profile, you can select the advanced option, and then you can specify the location of your profile where you would like to create the profile. Along with that, if you would like to change the name of your node, cell, and some other port, ports as well, then you can always select the advanced option during the creation of the profile. So now I will go to profile and this is the profile that we have created, right, which is the DMGR02 profile. Now to start the DMGR, okay, in fact, not for DMGR, any profile, whenever you create the profile, then all the command to start and stop, it created automatically inside the bin folder. You have to go to the profile folder, just like DMGR02 in our case, go to bin folder and here you will have a multiple commands. Okay, that you can use for the different purpose. Now in Windows, you will have a dot bat and if you're in Linux, then it will be a dot sh, right? So now here, what I will do, I have to start the DMGR console, right? So to start the DMGR, we have the command start manager dot bat. Okay, this is a single command or you can say a single script we have to run whenever we would like to start the DMGR. So let me click on hit. Okay, similarly, to stop the DMGR, you will have the command stop manager.bat in Windows. And if you're in Linux, then it will be start manager.sh and stop manager.sh. Okay, so now it will take initial, initially it will take some time, okay, after the first time of provisioning of the profile to start the DMGR. Okay, and once it is initiated, then we will access the admin console. Now you can see that the server is starting. Okay, the so first it is showing the location of the log file. Okay, so the location of log file is this is your installation location of WebSphere. Inside that, as I said, by default, it created the, uh, the profile inside the profiles folder. Inside profile folder, you will have a folder with the name of profile that you have created. 
right? So we have selected the default options during the typical profile creation. So it is automatically selected a DMGR02 because I already have a DMGR profile initially, which we have created with the name of DMGR02. So this that's why it automatically taken the second DMGR name is DMGR02. So if you again to go to create a different profile management profile for DMGR, and you, if you go with the typical option, then you will auto automatically take the name DMGR03. So inside that it will create a folder with the name of logs. And inside log, you will have a folder with the name of DMGR. Okay. And then there you will have a file called start server.log. So this is the main log file that you need in case of a you need any kind of a troubleshooting with respect to the DMGR. Then you can always refer this start server.log file. Okay. Now you can see that it is starting the DMGR. Okay. And server is getting initialized. So now you can see that the server has been started and it is showing the process ID of the server. Okay, and now if you would like are not sure on the uh, the different kind of ports, or you would like to see the different kind of ports or any profile information later after the installation, then for that you go to the logs folder. This logs folder inside is your DMGR folder. Go to logs folder, and here you will have a file called about this profile. So this profile profile.txt file is created for each and every profile that you will create in a web sphere. So open this file. Okay, and here you will see the profile information. So here you can see that the profile type is management. This is the location of your profile that it is uh, showing the disk space. It is used then your profile name. Okay. And then your node name, cell name, host name. If you have enabled the admin security or not. And apart from that, some of the important ports. So this is the inf profile information that you can see from this about this profile dot txt file which is inside the logs folder okay so now if you would have to access the management console for that you have to use the admin console port which is 9092 in our case okay so what i will do i will go to the browser it is running on my local host i have to give the port 9062 let me cross check it again yes it is 90 sorry 9092 90 it is 9092 slash IBM slash console. So this is the context that you have to give, which is IBM slash console. Okay, along with the hostname and port. And now because this is configured with the default SSL certificate, that's why it is giving me the warning. So we have to go to the accept and continue with the risk because this is configured with the default demo certificate. So let me give the username and password that I have given. Okay. And then you will land up on the DMGR console. So this is the default DMGR console, okay, which you can use for the centralized management of your complete cell, okay, where you have multiple uh, application servers, where you have multiple applications are deployed, and along with that you will have multiple configurations like for the data source, for the JMS, and for other configurations as well, okay. So if you go to the servers, okay, and then click on all servers. Then here you can see there is no server because we don't have any application server as of now, which is federated to this DMGR for the management. Okay, so basically what happened is that as I said, this DMGR is a deployment manager, which is a centralized management console, right? This is used for the centralized management of the multiple application servers. So that means as of now, we will not have any application servers. So now later, if you would like to manage the application servers with the help of this DMGR, what we do, we do the federation of the application server to this particular dmgr and there is a specific process for that okay what how we do the federation of this uh, application servers to the dmgr so this, this we have explained in our course demi course in, in detail okay with the multiple examples okay you can you can either go and subscribe for the course okay if you would like to have interested in the complete video course of uh, the web sphere otherwise we will post this information in the channel as well in the next few days okay how to federate your application server to particular dmgr okay so now once you will federate it once all the servers are federated then you will see the information or the servers inside the web sphere application servers here okay and apart from that if you uh, go for the deployment then for that you have to go to the applications Okay, and then you have to go for the different options which you are seeing here. Like for example, WebSphere Enterprise application. And here you will see the option to install and uninstall the application. And once the application is installed, then you will see the multiple more options here that you can perform for a particular 
applications. Similarly, if you would like to do the certain kind of a configurations like for JDBC configurations, JMS configurations, okay, then all these configurations that you can do from the resource tab. This is your resource tab. Okay, and apart from that, we have a multiple other options as well in your uh, console. For example, if you would like to uh, check your nodes, then you can click on the node. So here by default, this is a node which is specifically for the DMGR and we don't have any control over this one. We can't start stop this one. Okay, so once you will uh, federate uh, application server to this particular DMGR, then for each and every application server, you will see a corresponding node here. For example, if you will federate four application servers to this DMGR, then you will see the four nodes here. And with respect to each node, you will have a corresponding node agent. Okay, so your DMGR contact or do the centralized management of all the application servers by contacting the node agent. So that means on each and every application server host, you will have a node agent that will be used by your DMGR for do all kind of operations in your app servers. If this node agent is down, then your DMGR will not able to perform any of the operations on your corresponding application server. So this is very important. You should have the node and node agent which should be up and running when you are going for the federation or management of your application servers from the DMGR, right? So this is the way how you can uh, configure the DMGR. And if you would like to stop the uh, DMGR, for that you have a command stop manager.bat, which will stop your DMGR, okay? So this is how we create the DMGR. Uh, how, uh, what is the concept of profile? What is the default location? Okay, what is the log file? And what is the uh, text file, which we can refer for the profile information? Okay, and this is prompting me for the password because we have enabled the admin security. Okay, so I have to give the password here to stop the admin server. Right, thank you.